Hey everyone, welcome to Startups on Demand, sponsored by New York Tech Media. Today I've got the super awesome Eldad Hustan Koran. Uh, hey, he's, the, he's the co-founder uh, and CEO of WinAI. Well, you've probably heard about WinAI. They've been all over the news in the past two months. Um, they've been generating tons of headlines. The product, they have a super sexy product. Um, which a lot of sales people are kind of looking um, to kind of take a get a grasp on, and um, and that just to, just so you know, you know, a lot of sales people are pretty mad at you guys. You know what? Why? 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 Because they want to get the full access <laughs> to your platform, and it's still in you know in kind of a beta mode, and people are really want to use your platform. It's a much it's a much needed product and service. Um, and I would love for you to kind of expand on, on, on the product. Just a small note, like last last evening, I spoke with a salesperson and he was saying, um, I will kill for that. Um, yeah, so I-, I He will I literally like kill for that. He will literally <laughs> kill people. <laughs> so you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta stay protected. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, now, uh, and, and I think that it comes with a reason. I think that, one of my main uh, uh, reasons when I when I started WinAI was to solve a real problem, to solve a problem which is you know a solution which is must have and not nice to have. I think that if you want to build big things uh, and and to make a big impact uh, in in the world, and I think that's that's the initial thought and the initial motivation of any entrepreneur. Uh, you, you must look for for a must have solution, not a nice one. Nice to have one. And and going back to what we do and and why why the problem is so big, and what why the the solution is uh, a, a, a so easy to understand. Basically speaking, I think that one of the uh, most thing the most important thing that uh, I'm looking for is simplicity. Simple problem, simple solution, simple price. Things should be simple. We we are living in a generation where we have uh, not so much attention, if any, <laughs> and things should be simple. Now, the problem that we are solving is is really, really, really well known and yet not proven. And that's taking notes and then and and and, and um, taking notes through a sales call and push the data into the CRM. And I think like 90, 90% of salespeople don't like to do this. And and it comes with a reason. Like people like to sell they don't like to track the selling and, and i think that's that's a very uh, um understandable problem because we, we like to do we don't like to uh, track what we do um so that that's the main problem we are solving for the sales people for the sales leader we are solving of the problem of uh, lack of adherence for playbook. So you have a playbook, you write a playbook as a VP sales, as a CRO, you write a playbook, the day after you write a playbook, nobody use it. And that's super common. I think like 90, 90% once again of the sales people, sales leader uh, um, face the problem similar to that. So those are the two problems we are uh, uh, solving. And um, the way we solve it with the real-time assistant for salespeople, it's a Zoom app application that runs on top of Zoom. What we know to do in real time is first to make sure that you are covering the talking points or the playbook for each and every uh, kind of conversation. Second, the notes or and the things that are mentioned during the conversation are related and correlated to uh, the right uh, talking points during the conversation in real time. So the idea is to, to free salespeople from a uh, notes taking and uh, transform them into active listeners. And when the conversation is done, push everything to the CRM right away. So in a new, uh, whole new way of uh, productivity and uh, utilizing the momentum of end of call. I love it. I love it. Um, so we're, we're actually going to show a product demo in just mm -hmm. a few minutes. And that is going to show us, you know, so we did, um, so we did like a, we did like a live, we did like a demo. I did a demo call with Eldad basically a few days ago. We recorded it and then, um, and that, so we can kind of show it to you guys, um, through this episode. And it's like, it's like such a, it's like, I don't understand how people didn't like think about this concept before. Um, and you guys are probably, you know, kind of geniuses of, of doing this. And like, when I'm thinking about, you know, you said like a lot of great points here. And I think like, when, when we're, t we're in the state of the market currently right now, when there's a lot of pressure on salespeople to actually sell, the number one thing people want to do is remove all the bullshit that, that is attached to that. You know, 
you know, hands-on implementing into the CRM, then logging into your CRM, then inserting everything. And it, and it turns out to be super funny because then the tracking starts to take more time than the actual work, uh, which is stupid and which is counter, you know, counter uh, productive. Um, I, I totally, understand. totally agree with you. Awesome. So um, why won't you share your screen cool. and we'll start seeing uh, the demo? Let's do that. Um, hopefully you, you will hear the sound well. Um, if not, I will uh, help with a uh, live, uh, live uh, guidance and uh, explanations. Um, so what you see on the right side of the screen, this is our platform. The only one who can see it is the salesperson, uh, him or herself. So, you know, if even if you are sharing your screen for a demo or for seeing, uh, showing a collateral or something like that, um, you know, nobody will see it. Um, cool. Once again, what you're going to see now happens, no hands with no hands, no typing, no manual work, all automatic. Free, how are you? Hey, man. I'm great. Nice, nice to see you. Uh, nice afternoon. Um, can you tell me a little bit about you? Like what you do, what's your role? Yeah, awesome, man. So my name is Amri Hurwitz. I'm the CEO of Amri Hurwitz Media. Uh, we are a, a tech PR firm uh, located in Tel Aviv. Cool. Um, and, and how many people are you? Um, we're a team of six uh, when we have um, three account executives on the team. Okay. Amazing. Um, and, and how did you hear about us? Like what, what got your interest about uh, WinAI? Well, I've read a lot of your articles uh, online and um, I was really interested in the playbook tracking feature you guys have. Yeah, that's that's for, for sure one one of our leading uh, features uh, that we work. Um, just for me to understand, like what video conference are you using? Uh, we're currently using uh, the Zoom recording platform. Is it is it for like recording the platform and and doing the video conference on top of that? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Amazing. So it could be a good fit for what we do. Um, let me do that. Let's set a meeting for next week and I will show you a quick demo of what we do and let's take it from there. That sounds amazing. Thank you, Eldad. Amazing. Talk to you soon. Now, just before I move on, uh, what you saw on the right side of the screen that uh, part of the thing that uh, Umri and, and, and I, we spoke uh, on, on, the, uh, on the call, Things were captured and the understanding and the, the, the real-time understanding of the platform understood that, okay, now we are speaking about uh, Zoom recording. Now we are speaking about the capabilities needed. Now we are speaking about um, a, a video conference platform. Um, and the idea is, and, and, you sh and you saw that it captures uh, the right piece of information and connect it with the uh, right talking point. Now, when the conversation is done, um, What's gonna happen is um, a, a end of window. Uh, we call it the end of window uh, pops up and it looks like that. Um, right away, so it's part of a new workflow that we, we, we really believe that utilizing the end of call, if you have back-to-back -back call, that's fine. You have, um, you, have a, 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 you have time to go back to the, the platform afterwards, but the natural workflow should be the conversation is done, take the notes, push everything to the CRM. So we uh, help you uh, uh, to adopt to this new uh, workflow, a uh, slightly new workflow. What you can see here is this is the end of call window that pops up uh, automatically to the salesperson. Um, on the left side, you can see the transcript. On the uh, In the middle, you can see the fields in the CRM. Um, part of the things that we captured, part of the things we haven't captured, you can edit, you can change until you feel comfortable with um, with what happened during the conversation. On the right side of the screen, here I'm adding uh, the next steps. Uh, on the right side of the screen, in a second, you're gonna see that I'm gonna pick the uh, the object name. Uh, in this case, uh, that that's integration for both. Uh, we have integration both for HubSpot and Salesforce. In this case, uh, I, I showed the integration for HubSpot. So I'm starting to type um, Omri, and then we uh, uh, found the, the, the right uh, uh, deal and that's it. Create node and that's it. This is uh, done. Uh, hey, I'm Rhi, how are you? Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and uh, now everything is in this CRM. So the overall experience, like four minutes after the call is done, you have all of your playbook covered, notes taken, uh, notes taken and CRM updated. And that's, that's a whole new 
um, level of productivity for salespeople. I love it. I love it. Okay, so just just to kind of uh, drill down into my audience, I think there's a, a, like a lot of like really unique selling propositions here. Number one is the playbook aspect. So, you know, when you're in a sales call, it's super inconvenient to just like have a notebook and just like look at what you want to say or ask. It makes you look super robotic and like you have an agenda, you know, and it's super not convenient. So having it on literally on the screen on, you know, was so natural on the call and being able to just kind of talk freely and then, you know, kind of re remind yourself what your playbook is. That's amazing. Um, the second thing, obviously, is the, you know, doing it all hands-free and having it later on automatically integrated into the CRM. Um, and, and that, do you, can, you, can you kind of elaborate on, like, some of your product roadmaps and what do you think, like, the next stage of it is? Because there's so many ideas that you guys can do here, you know, like, there's so many angles. Yeah, so in, in the um, next couple of weeks, we are adding also a recap email, uh, which is coming out next. Um, we are building now um, also uh, support the, the, the ability to support also other video conferences and other dialers. Uh, so the idea is that the vision is to serve a company, the, the customer facing people in the company from SDR to, to support. So all the way, you know, SDRs or, or XDRs and account executive and customer success and a, a, a sales engineer part of the onboarding if they have any um, till support. And so the, the, the whole idea is to support the different scenarios and the different use cases. And uh, we are uh, pushing very hard towards uh, building this, uh, the different integration and the different needs for the different uh, use cases. Awesome. And what, what kind of tech brands um, have you been inspired from, if you have to say? So I think that uh, I would say two brands that resonates uh, uh, really well when, when we're building what we're building. Uh, so the first one is Salesforce. And I think that Salesforce uh, uh, made a really big revolution in, in the world of uh, sales. Um, 25 years ago, something like that. And I think it was a whole new, different uh, approach, uh, how to gather the data and to streamline the process. Um, of course, it comes with problems like typing and tracking, which is, this is the thing that we are solving. But I think that the the innovation side and and they, they bring it to the cloud and to be the pioneers in this area, I think, and, and building a great brand, like we, can, we just came back from uh, Dreamforce, uh, which is the annual event of uh, Mark Benoff and, and, and the Salesforce. And I think that, that there's one thing that I can tell you about Mark Benoff is, you know, dream big. He's dreaming, not big, he's dreaming huge. He's, he's, he's a visionary, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an evangelist, he's amazing. And I think that uh, uh, he's a great uh, example to, to a leader. And I think that Salesforce is a great uh, brand uh, uh, that we, we are looking up to. And the second thing, is from the point of view, but not not the B two B part, but rather than the B two C product. I think like a, a, a personal assistant like Alexa um, are are really where we aspire to to go to. Like now, Alexa is a general account, a, a general assistant for uh, general people, but what we're building is a real time assistant for salespeople. Uh, so it's a specific use case. And I think that the combination between the innovation of Salesforce with the capabilities of Alexa, this is where WinAI, this is the cross between WinAI. And I think that um, this is where we're heading to be bold, to be, uh, you no, know, to, to, to tackle things, tackle problems uh, that were not solved yet, to be must have. Um, so that's, that's a perfect combination for us. I love it. So Salesforce, um, Salesforce had a baby with Alexa and it's named WinAI. Yes. <laughs> love it. And love it. So, with the ye yellow, yellow color as well. With the yellow color, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love it. So like, okay, so where can people find uh, more about you guys? Um, if I understand correctly, there is early access yes. on the win.ai website. Um, Follow these guys on Twitter as well, obviously. On LinkedIn, they're really building a mega brand on social media as well. Um, and um, and follow Eldad personally on LinkedIn. Uh, <laughs> this guy, this guy is really bringing his A game. You know, I, I told I told Eldad, you know, he used to do like uh, posts mainly in Hebrew. 
But right now he's become a CEO of a big brand, so he needs to do it only on English from now on. Uh, that, that's uh, it, it was a tough moment to digest. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, brother. Thank you so much for being on the show and taking the time. And really excited to see what's up for you guys. What's up next for you guys? Uh, me too. Me too, Amri. It was a pleasure. Talk to you soon. Bye.